Hi, my name is Laura Walgate, and I'm a physician assistant with Dr. Mayer Dollar at Gulfstream Urology and Revitalized Lounge. Today, I'd like to talk about a form of erectile dysfunction treatment called intracavenosal injection therapy. It is the most effective non-surgical treatment to treat erectile dysfunction. It first became available in the early 1980s, and the medications of papaverin, phentolamine, and alprosadil are used individually or in combination to create a firmer and longer-lasting erection. This treatment option is ideal for patients who have tried all the oral medications, Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, and they're no longer effective, or for patients who have cardiac conditions or on nitrates and those medications are contraindicated. 92% of patients found this therapy to be effective. The hallmark, really, of this medication is the efficacy and patient satisfaction really is very high. Please be mindful, however, that this is a very strong medication and can cause priapism, which is a painful erection that lasts for several hours. It also may cause scar tissue, so choosing an injection site and alternating that site is very important. Next, I'd like to demonstrate the proper injection technique. The supplies you will need are two alcohol swabs, one insulin syringe, a 31 gauge 5 16 inch needle, and the medication. In determining the proper area to inject, I will use this model for demonstration. The penis consists of two main cylindrical bodies called the capora cavernosa and a urination component called the urethra, as well as many nerves, arteries, and veins. The two main bodies constitute the greater portion of the shaft of the penis. The urethra is located on the underside of the penis, or the ventral side. The dorsal arteries and veins are located here. Both the urethra and the blood vessels are areas you should avoid. So the first step will to ensure that you have your hands washed, and then create a clean workspace and lay out your materials. First, you'll have removed the cap from the vial, and open up the first alcohol swab, and clean the rubber stopper. Once the cap is removed, be careful not to touch uh, the rubber stopper. The next step is to open up the needle package and draw back the needle to the level of the amount of fluid you're going to inject. You'll go ahead and remove the cap and place the needle without touching the rubber stopper into the vial, invert the bottle, push the air into the vial, and again draw back. Again invert, tap out any bubbles, and allow the medication to reach the tip of the needle to ensure all of the bubbles are out. The next step is to grasp the penis with the thumb and first three fingers and actually pull the penis taut into the side. Be very cautious not to twist the penis. The next step after that is to go ahead and get your second alcohol swab. And again, along that area that we spoke about earlier, staying away from the dorsal and ventral side and stay along the side of the penis to go ahead and clean a nice white area with the alcohol swab. Again, being careful not to recontaminate after you've cleaned the area. As you can see on the model, you can see visual veins. Those are areas, again, that you want to stay away from any superficial visual veins. Holding the syringe at a 90 degree angle, avoiding any superficial vessels, put your hand into a dart position and put the injection all the way into the hub. Slowly inject the medication. Properly dispose of the needle in a sharps container and apply pressure for two minutes. So the medication should take effect within five to 10 minutes and the effects will be enhanced by tactile and visual stimulation. This is an excellent treatment option for patients with erectile dysfunction. Finding the customized dose for each individual patient is extremely important and treatments should be initiated by the provider and monitored as well. In many patients, we're able to combine this treatment with the P-Shot, so please watch our video on YouTube and subscribe to the channel for more information. We welcome your questions and comments and again, I'd like to thank you for watching. This video is for educational purposes only. Individual results may vary and are not guaranteed. Advice on treatment or care of an individual patient should be obtained through consultation with a physician or trained healthcare practitioner who has examined the patient or is familiar with the patient's medical history.